Imagine a naval vessel designed not just to patrol waters, but to project power, versatility, and national pride. What makes such a ship stand out in today's ever-evolving maritime world? Today, we're diving deep into the BRP Antonio Luna FF-151, the second frigate of the Jose Rizal class of the Philippine Navy. It's a ship that's been turning heads, not only for its sleek modern design but also for the way it reflects the growing capabilities of the Philippine Navy in terms of defense and maritime presence. But what exactly makes the BRP Antonio Luna special? How does it compare to other frigates around the globe? And more importantly, how does it fit into the bigger picture of maritime security in Southeast Asia? Let's break it all down in detail. The BRP Antonio Luna is named after General Antonio Luna, a Filipino military strategist known for his brilliance during the Philippine-American War. The very name gives the ship a legacy of resilience, courage, and tactical intelligence. This frigate was constructed by Hyundai Heavy Industries of South Korea and commissioned into the Philippine Navy in 2021, making it a relatively young addition to the fleet. What's fascinating is that this ship is part of the modernization program of the Philippine Navy, which aims to transform the country's maritime defense forces from being primarily coastal defense-oriented to one that can operate more effectively in blue water missions. In simple terms, this ship isn't just about defending the shores, it's about projecting power across oceans. In terms of design, the BRP Antonio Luna follows a stealthy, modern warship look. It features smooth, angular lines that help reduce radar cross-section, making it harder to detect by enemy radars. For someone not deeply into military technology, you can think of this as a ship designed to be less visible to opponents, giving it an edge in combat scenarios. At about 107 meters in length and displacing around 2,600 tons, it's not the largest frigate in the world, but it's compact, agile, and highly capable. Its size makes it ideal for quick maneuvering and operations within the complex archipelagic waters of the Philippines, while still having the range to travel long distances when needed. Performance-wise, this frigate is powered by a CODAD, combined diesel and diesel, propulsion system, which gives it a maximum speed of around 25 knots and an endurance of up to 30 days at sea. What does this mean in practical terms? It means the ship can chase down threats, conduct long patrols, and remain out at sea for extended missions without needing to constantly return to port. For a navy that must cover vast areas of sea, including exclusive economic zones, this endurance is a game-changer. One of the standout features of the BRP Antonio Luna is its weapons and combat system. It's equipped with a 76mm Oto Malara Super Rapid Gun as its main armament, a versatile naval gun capable of targeting surface ships, aircraft, and even incoming missiles. In addition, the ship carries anti-submarine torpedoes, surface-to-surface -surface missiles, and is prepared for surface-to-air missile systems that can handle aerial threats. Even though some of these systems are still in the process of being fully upgraded, the ship is already combat-ready and adaptable to future technology. This modular approach is key, it means the vessel can evolve over time as new weapons and defense systems become available. But a warship is not only about firepower, it's also about awareness. The BRP Antonio Luna has state-of-the-art sensors, radars, and sonar systems that allow it to detect enemy ships, submarines, or aircraft long before they become a direct threat. The inclusion of a combat management system ties all these sensors and weapons. Together, giving the crew the ability to quickly analyze threats and respond with the right action. This is like having the brain of the ship working overtime to ensure every decision in a high-stakes environment is fast and accurate. Another unique aspect of the Antonio Luna is its aviation capability. The ship has a flight deck and hangar that can accommodate a medium naval helicopter such as the AW-159 Wildcat. This is a huge force multiplier because it extends the ship's surveillance, anti-submarine, and search and rescue capabilities far beyond what onboard sensors can achieve alone. With a helicopter on deck, the BRP Antonio Luna essentially becomes a much larger presence, covering more sea and airspace. For the crew, the ship is designed with modern living quarters, advanced communication systems, and the ability to operate effectively with allied navies in joint operations. This interoperability is crucial for the Philippines, which often works alongside countries like the United States, Japan, and South Korea in maritime exercises. The ship doesn't just defend, it also connects the Philippine Navy to broader regional security efforts. 
Now, here's a question worth asking, why is the BRP Antonio Luna such a big deal for the Philippines? The answer lies in the country's geographic reality. With over 7,600 islands and vital sea lanes passing through its territory, the Philippines needs capable ships to protect its sovereignty and resources. The